How to answer questions in GCSE Business Lesson 1 It is important as a student to understand how you will be assessed in your exams. Responding to exam questions is a key skill required to be successful in GCSE Business. Throughout this online course, you will have had the opportunity to attempt a number of 6, 9 and 12 mark questions. A reminder about the papers. You will sit two papers. Paper 1 assesses Theme 1, Investigating Small Business. Paper 2 assesses Theme 2, Building a Business. Each paper is worth 50% of the total GCSE marks. Each paper is 90 minutes long and is worth 90 marks. Both papers are identical in structure or just about, an outline question may be interchanged with a calculate question. Perfecting exam technique. A reminder about the papers. Manage your time effectively, roughly a minute a mark. You should make up some time on the multiple choice questions, which will help you to gain some time to read the two extracts or case studies in the exam. One way of managing your time easily is to break up the paper into 30-minute chunks and think, after 30 minutes, I should have finished all of section A where there is no extract. After 60 minutes, as well as section A, I should have now finished all of section B that relates to the first extract, which leaves the last 30 minutes to complete section C that relates to the second extract. Read every question twice just to ensure that you answer the question that is specifically asked and not a different question. Don't forget that section A is not looking for any context, but the explain questions found only in section A are worth 20% of the total GCSE marks, so take care in answering them precisely. Read the extracts very carefully in section B and section C. The best marks will be awarded when answers are written in context. Context can only be awarded if you have read the extract. Mentioning the name of the business or something that is found in the question is not enough for context to be awarded. Your answer has to be embedded in the case. This means talk about the business in your answer, but don't just copy bits from the extract word for word. Use the extract to help support your answer. Remember, in Discuss, Analyse, Justify and Evaluate questions, you need to include five interconnected points across a maximum of two points to help you reach the highest levels in the mark scheme. Always finish the paper. Never leave a question blank. Learn all the content and the key terms in the specification carefully. You need to therefore use the specification as part of your revision.